I was originally gonna do a top five Josie Marin favorites video today and I was pulling everything out of my drawers and trying to narrow everything down and I decided I felt like just talking about it all. So I'm gonna try something a little different and I'm gonna show you my entire Josie Marin makeup collection. All the makeup products I own, I'll show you some swatches and I'm gonna to try to give you very short mini reviews. If I liked it, why I liked it, if I'm not gonna purchase it again, why it didn't work for me. And I do have a lot from this line. It's one of my favorite lines that you can get at Sephora and I've had really good luck, especially with the colored cosmetics. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the cheek gelays. The full name is the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelay. And I have two of these and out of everything I'm gonna show you today, this is the one product where there are only positives. I can't think of anything negative or anything I would wanna change about these. I do have an entire review video dedicated to the cheek gelays, but a summary of that is that one, if you have oily skin, these are amazing because they are so long wearing. They won't fade or disappear throughout the day. And then if you have dry skin, they're also nice because they're very lightweight and hydrating. And I think both colors I have are just very fresh and pretty. Um, last summer, I wore a lot of Poppy Paradise, which is a vibrant pink. And then this summer, I've been wearing a lot of Honeymoon Honey, which is a neutral brown. And I like to apply these with a duo fiber stippling brush. And I think they're really easy to work with and blend out. They're beautiful. And it's nice to have a product that that's good for both oily and dry skin because I know for myself, my skin can fluctuate depending on what time of year. So these are a beautiful product and I think everyone should try it. And I do think that at Sephora, they have like mini ones. So if you just wanted to test it out just to see how it wears on you, I think that's a great option. Next, I have the newest launch from Josie Marin, and that's their Argan Black Oil Mascara. And I was so excited about this, one, because I thought the packaging was just beautiful. I will say that it makes my lashes very dark. It's very pigmented black mascara, and it also makes my lashes feel very soft, which I love. I don't like when mascara makes my lashes feel brittle or like they're going to break. So it's very dark, very softening, but the wand tends to pick up a lot of product. So if I don't almost scrape the wand down a little bit, things can get pretty clumpy, like too clumpy. And I have experienced some flaking where I just get little black specks on my cheek throughout the day. So it's not a bad mascara, but it's not the best mascara I've ever tried. And I've been using it for a few weeks. And as of right now, I don't think I'll be repurchasing. I also own the Josie Marin Argan Illuminator, and this is a gorgeous color. It's kind of a champagne bronze, and it comes with a full fluid ounce and a glass bottle with a pump. The pump can be a little bit hard to manage sometimes, and I have gotten more product than I needed on a couple occasions. When I first got it, I was using it on top of my foundation, on top of my cheekbones, under my brow, and on my cupid's bow, and that is beautiful. But after playing with it for a while, I've decided that I actually liked it mixed in with my foundation even more. So today I'm wearing the Sappho Organics, and I I put some of the that foundation on the back of my hand and then I tried to pump out as little as I could of the illuminator, mix them together and then applied it to my face as normal. And it doesn't look too glittery or make you look like a disco ball. It's very natural looking. I think it just gives an all over lit from within glow. So this is a beautiful color. I think it's nice that you can use it either way, either over top your foundation or mixed in. This next product you've seen me talk a lot about, and that is the Argan Creamy Concealer Crayon. And I have it in shade Fair One, and this is my favorite on-the-go concealer. The packaging makes it so convenient to keep in my purse. It's just a little twist-up concealer crayon. It's not the most full coverage concealer, but it is so nice if a little bit of redness breaks through my foundation. Like before I sat down to film this video, I did a little touch up and just easily drew this on around my nose and at the corner of my eye and blended it in with my finger. And this concealer never looks cakey, which I think is so important for a concealer that you're just gonna carry around with you. If you don't wanna have to bring like special brushes. It works really well with my finger. It never looks cakey. And then my friend Diana actually bought this, but she bought it in a shade that didn't work for her, but it happens to be my shade. So she just sent it to me. So I'm so grateful for that. So now I have two of these. I'm going to keep one in my purse and then keep one in my vanity. I have the Josie Marin Argan Tinted Moisturizer with Natural Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And this was my favorite tinted moisturizer last summer. I wore it all the time and talked about it in a couple of videos. So when this summer rolled around, I pulled it out and I was excited to use it. And it just started settling into my pores and disappearing really quickly. So I wasn't sure why it wasn't working for me. And I kind of pushed it to the back of my vanity 
And when I was getting ready to film this video, I was trying to think why isn't it working the same for me? And I realized last summer I was really into primers. I had the Benefit Stay Flawless Primer as well as the Hourglass one. So I'm thinking that this tinted moisturizer just does better with a primer, at least on my skin, which is very oily. So this is one I have a little bit left of it and I'm gonna start using it with the Hourglass Primer again just to finish out this too. But this is not something I would run out and repurchase. In the past, I liked the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream better. Currently. I'm using the Saffo Organics Foundation, which is lightweight and very light feeling on the skin. And there are a couple that are on my list that I wanna try out, so this isn't something I would run out and repurchase. I have two kinds of products left and they are both favorites. The first is the Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. So these are meant to be used on both your lips and cheeks. On your cheeks, they never really completely set. So they're just a tiny bit tacky on your cheeks, but they look but because they're not drying down, you get a little bit of glow, which I think is really pretty. And the wear time is really nice on the cheeks. On the lips, however, they disappear really quickly. So the best way to combat that, I like to apply the creamy oil first, and then I will take a similarly colored lipstick and place that on top. So today I first used Everlasting Honey, and then I took a tiny bit of Bite Beauty's Pepper and applied that on top and then worked my lips together. And that helps the creamy oil to last for a little bit longer. And I think the packaging is so pretty, and I like that you can clearly see the colors on the tube they can separate the color and pigment can separate from the oil sometimes so the best thing to do while the cap is still on if you just squeeze the tube a little bit that will help it to come out fully pigmented and right now I think Sephora has a duo in stores and then online they have a set of four of them for only $28 which I thought was a really good price so I think either the duo or the set of four is a great way of trying these products if you've been interested in them I have saved the best for last. These are the coconut watercolor eyeshadows and I love these so much. They are fully pigmented and they give such a beautiful metallic look to the eyes. So I have, I think there are six of them. I have five of them. The one that I don't have is the forest green and I think once fall comes around, I will probably own that one as well. My favorites are probably, hold on. First I'll tell you what I have on right now. On my lid, I have Playa del Pink. And then on my outside corner, I have a little bit of Bora Bora bronze right at the outside corner and then blend it up into my crease a little bit. And when you get these, I like to really shake them up. That way the pigment is incorporated into the coconut water. And then you can twist off the cap and it comes with a little doe foot applicator. And I like to take the doe foot applicator and scrape it along the side of the bottle because you just need the tiniest amount of this product. Then I'll take the applicator and press the shadow wherever I want it. And at that point, I can either take my finger or a small brush and blend it in just a little bit. And these are fully pigmented. They last for forever. I think if you have normal to dry lids, you could even just put these down and not have to worry about any kind of primer. I have very oily lids, so I always feel more confident if I have a primer. So today I have down the Bare Minerals BB Primer and then these on top, and that combination will last all day for me. So my favorite is probably Playa del Pink. I've gotten the most use out of that one. And then secondly, I love Rio de Rose Gold. Both of these are gorgeous on the lid. And if I just want a very easy eye look, I will just use one of these. And then I have both brown colors. The lighter brown is Beach Sand. And then I have Bora Bora Bronze. I love these both so much. And then the last color I have is Polynesian Purple. And this I got because I thought it would be really pretty on days when I have just a very natural, neutral eye look I could just put a little bit of the purple along my lower lash line and I've tried that a few times and I just for some reason I think it makes me look tired so I still like the purple color I just need to find a better way to use it so these are so amazing for how pigmented they are for how long they last and sometimes I find that with cream shadows like a Maybelline color tattoo or a MAC paint pot, sometimes they can feel very heavy and kind of bring attention to any kind of crepiness on my lids. These are the exact opposite. They are very lightweight and very hydrating. So if you don't mind a little bit of a metallic sheen, I think these are a fantastic product. I'm so happy with my purchase. And I reach for them all the time, whether I'm wearing them by themselves or wearing them as a base to a powdered eyeshadow. And I hope they come out with more colors because I will probably buy those too. That is it for my Josie Marin makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing the product, seeing some swatches, and hearing my thoughts on everything. If you'd like me to do this with another brand, please let me know in the comments below. I thought this one was a good one to start with because I had a wide range of products. But that is everything I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week with a new video, which is going to be my morning skincare routine.